Hello YouTube. How's everyone doing today? Yes, it's been a little while since I've uploaded uh, compared to what I was doing. I was putting out videos pretty regular. Um, if you watched my last video I posted, it was me telling you that I'm taking some time off. It could be a day, a week. It could be forever. Who knows? <clears throat> well, I'm not officially back. I'm not like, you know, I'm not Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm not back. Um, but I just wanted to let you know, uh, just kind of uh, a reason for my absence. Um, one, I was just getting kind of burnt out because I was putting out so many videos. Uh, two, uh, it don't seem like my channel is growing quite like I want. Um, of course, I'm not doing any, any of this for money or anything, and that's not my goal in the end. Even if I had uh, 10 million subscribers, it's not my goal. That don't mean I wouldn't probably monetize you know, my channel and all that if I got that many subscribers. But that's not going to happen anyway. Um, and another thing that's going on is uh, just uh, kind of one financial thing after one financial thing. And after a while, you just get to the point where you're kind of done and you're ready to just be done with everything. Um, whenever we bought this house in 2015, uh, we did not know that we were buying a house with a completely busted and worthless septic system. So in 2016, February, March, probably somewhere in March or so, uh, we had the whole septic system redone. We've got two tanks. We've got a electronic pump deal with an alarm on it. Uh, we have new field line across over in that part of the yard, uh, like 200 feet. Um, we have a curtain drain that goes around most of our yard. Uh, and any of any of you that know anything about septics know what all these things are. Um, so yeah. Instantly, whenever we bought the house, uh, we had to turn around and get a second mortgage just to get that going. And on top of that, the air unit quit working. Luckily, the heat was working, but the air quit. So then we had to get air conditioners and pop in all the windows. Um, and contrary to popular belief, no, they don't suck up electricity. Our bills were always really good. Um, but that doesn't take away from the fact that you buy a house and instantly the septic's bad. Instantly the, the central unit's bad. Plus we had to get work done on the hot water heater, uh, the gas hot water heater. It wasn't working. So we pretty much bought a lemon of a house. And, uh, so come to find out the neighbors... Are selling that house and they might be having a hard time selling it because we have recently recently as in over the past years past year uh, sprung a little leak over there where our field line is now any of those any of you out there that know anything about septic systems is sometimes the lines do tend to pop a little uh, part you know a little area in your yard sometimes and you have a little bit of seepage from the bottom of the ground to the top path of least resistance so evidently they complained to the health department either the realtor or the owner of the house or whomever someone over there so that's going on we have that to deal with uh, so after sinking $10,000 from a second mortgage that we had to get into the septic system, now we're going to have to do something else with that. Uh, it could be an easy fix as in uh, 
putting 10 feet more field line in, which won't help. It could be an easy fix, as in stopping the pump from pumping over the liquids into the into the field line uh, so much to regulate that. Um, it could go from something simple like that to having to, you know, run more field line. From over here is where the field line actually stops, close to the driveway. Going back down this way, and they're running field line all through this area of the yard. And keep in, keep in mind, we already have field line over here on this side of the yard, where the old field line was. Of course, it's not used anymore. Because all the liquids are pumped over there to that field line so you know mentally and just physically just feel broken spiritually you know not spiritually as in heavens above I'm, I'm atheist um, just all that and my wife's epilepsy and you know trying to get our house emptied out you know we have a house guest that we invited and it's coming up on a year and we're kind of wanting to get the house emptied and that's kind of an issue my sister love her to death um, but yeah it's it's these things that have kind of taken the steam out of me and I haven't ridden my bike in the last three days uh, a little bit of a reason there has been some rain off and on and a temperature dropped low and for some reason it went back to winter and fall uh, and laziness and just not mentally there so I took off Friday Saturday and Sunday um, but yeah so we're gonna find out pretty soon what we gotta do with all that uh, the guys from the uh, health department or waste management, whatever it is, they're going to come out here and talk to us and all that stuff. And the guy that we had do the new system, they've already contacted him a little bit and kind of spoke with him. And uh, so he's kind of aware of what's going on again, which he was kind of aware anyway. I caught him out here back when that first started and he just told me basically there's nothing else you can do. You know, because this land just really don't perk. It's you shouldn't even have a house here. So, and all he did was follow the plans that the waste management health department, whatever you want to call them, uh, drew up at the time. And well, anyway, nobody's to blame. Uh, nobody is going to pay for it. You know, it was nobody's mistake, evidently. It's just something that we have to deal with, as usual. So, you know, we're, we're at that point where, after six years of struggling, we're fixing to have our car paid off. Um, and we were really looking forward to finally getting some breathing room and not struggling and being able to possibly enjoy life again a little bit. Because it's been six years of H-E daggum hockey sticks uh, so this is probably going to put a little damper on that and as far as me getting that bike that I was talking about I don't really know I mean again it depends on what's going to happen with this but I'm not even counting on being able to do that now so now I really don't have a road bike like, like I said like you guys know those of you I'm not putting any more money into that track so, uh, I'm kind of stuck with just my Raleigh, which is a good bike, but, you know, it's nice to have something a little bit more made for the road, for longer distances and stuff, but really I go, I, I go pretty much as fast and on and all that uh, on my Raleigh as I do my Trek, so I don't guess it really matters in the grand scheme of things. Well, yeah, anyway, I know this is long-winded, but I just wanted to fill you in, and uh, I hope you stick with me on my channel. I am going to get back to videos, hopefully, really soon. 
uh, I hope you go back and check, you know, check out all my videos that I have already. Uh, my goofy movie reviews. I'm not a pro, so it's kind of funny to look at them. They're not great, but, you know, uh, give you something just to sit there and watch. And my bike rides and my little bit of, my little bit of uh, drawings that I do. Check out my playlist. Um, and, of course, I have discussions along the way, sometimes on my bikes or sometimes just sitting there like this. So, anyway, there's plenty of you to look at. Uh, you know, plenty of videos there for you to look at. Uh, I hope you still stay subscribed, like, comment, share. Uh, I try to always look at comments and that, but I don't really get, you know, notifications. And I have everything turned on, but you really got to search through. Uh, in my opinion, you got to really search for these comments. So I try to get back with everyone. And, uh, yeah. So that's just kind of where I'm at. And... I wanted to give you a slight little updated video here on what's kind of got Mikey Sun down just a little bit. But, uh, yeah. And I'm almost out of school for the summer. I think our last day is maybe May 24th. Of course, I drive school bus. So I'm fixing to have a couple months off, and I hope to have all these problems resolved. And mentally and spiritually and just emotionally uh, ready to kick butt on the bike and get out and, play and shoot some basketball and go for some walks and, and uh, have Mr. Axel scare the crap out of me. Can you please stop? I'm trying to do a video. Mm -mm -mm. So anyway, I'm out of here guys. Uh, hope you had a good weekend, hope you have a good week, hope you have a good life, alright, don't forget, you can always get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it, even when just sitting here in a chair, giving you an update, we'll see y'all later.